Hello friends, in this video we will discuss texture analysis in R, a step by step procedure. To know more about what and why behind texture analysis, please see my earlier video mentioned in the description box or on the i button above. Let's begin texture analysis. The step 1 is document transformation. So you must have saved your text data in some format in your system. In my case I have saved the text data in CSV format. So I want to download the file from system to R. So I have named this data as my analysis using function called read.csv and this is the address of my destination file saved in D drive and the file is saved as textual analysis. So let me run this syntax and print it. Here you may see that there are two columns. First is ID. So I have 20 IDs for 20 lines. And the second column is text. For each text, one ID is assigned. So first text in the first line is strength is born in silence of struggle. It has an ID 1. And so on for 20 IDs. So now the step 2 is tokenization where we need to pull particular words which are known as tokens in this case which are there in the corpus. The corpus is our data set. So this is our corpus, the data set and from this corpus we need to pull out all the words, all the tokens which is there in it. For instance, in ID 1 there are 8 tokens, 8 words which are strength is born in the silence of struggle. So these are 8 tokens which is there in ID 1. So we need to pull out these words from this corpus. Okay. So for that we need to install packages, tidy text and dplyr before starting this analysis. So I have already installed it. So I am not going to install it again. Let me load these packages here. So I need to pull out tokens. Therefore, I am naming this data as my analysis underscore tokens from the data called my analysis. This sign is called R pipes. So these are used to integrate multiple operations together. And I need to use the function called unness underscore token from tidy text for tokenization. Please notice that there are two arguments. In this function, output and input. If you remember, our file my analysis has a column called text. So this text column is our input in this case. We are taking all the sentences which are stored in text like this. So this is our text column and these are the text data which is contained in the column called text. So this is our input thing. And output is we need words from these sentences. So let me run the syntax and print it. So here you may see that all the tokens we have received. You may notice that ID1 has 8 tokens taken from sentence 1 stored in input text. So it is strength is born in the silence of struggle. So these are the same tokens which we have seen in ID1 stored in my analysis data set. Please note that here all words are in lowercase. So unness underscore tokens converts the tokens in lowercase by default. So if you look at the sentences, there were some words in uppercase as well. But unness underscore tokens function converts all the tokens in lowercase which is good for our analysis because we don't want any confusion between uppercase and lowercase words which are exactly same. Secondly, the IDs are retained. We have seen that these 8 words have ID 1 similar to our destination file, my analysis. Further, there are no punctuation marks. We do not want to analyze any punctuation marks. Step third is to remove stop words. Now what are stop words? Stop words are the words which are not helpful in our textual analysis. These are low meaningful words. 
with little contribution to content meaning. For instance, these words like tell, it, like, it, does, all these words are stop words. It has no meaning and contributing nothing to our content. It actually can make noise in our analysis. So to reduce noise, we want to remove all these stop words. So these are the common words which we don't want in our analysis. You can read more about stop words from our documentation. So running it, here is a documentation for stop words which you may read. And now we want to remove all these stop words. So I have named this data as my analysis underscore SW. I'm using the file which we have just created, my analysis underscore tokens. So we are using our pipes here. We are going to run the syntax to remove the stop words. So we have removed all the stop words and we can print the words and can see that there are 74 observations. Earlier, there were around 155 observations from 20 IDs and the last token was thus. And here we may see that we have now reduced the observations to 74 from 20 IDs and the last word, last token is not does, it is matters. We have removed all the stop words from our analysis. We may also combine the syntax for tokenization and stop words in one syntax through our pipes because our pipes are used to chain multiple operations together and we may chain different syntax together. So naming this data as my analysis underscore sw2, taking my destination file, my analysis, applying our pipes, using unness underscore tokens, and the two arguments within it, the first is word as my output and text as my input. Here I have not specified that word I am taking as my output and text as input. Because by default, R will understand what is output and what is input. And then applying R pipes again and using the syntax for stop words. So let me run this syntax and print it. Here we may again see that there are 74 observations from 20 IDs and the last token is matters, as in the case earlier. So now step 4 is counting word frequency. We want to count the number of times each word is appearing. We are interested in counting our word frequency. So I'm naming this data as my analysis underscore WF, taking the data which we have just created after removing stop words my analysis underscore SW, applying our pipes and telling R to count the number of words. Let me print this data. So there are six tokens which are coming twice, namely growth, hope, matters, silence, story and strength and the other words are coming only once. So in the next related video, we are going to visualize the word frequencies. So do watch that video to understand the visualization of textual analysis. The link for that is mentioned in the description box and in the i button above. Thanks for watching.